Okay, so uh, today's home repair project is glass pane repair. I've never done this before. Um, well, I take it back. Until this project, I've never done this before. There's the camera. And uh, now I've done two panes in these really old aluminum windows, and I've got one pane left. You can see here there's some kind of crack. Uh, this particular crack is something that hit from this side and shattered the glass out. It's been here since we moved in. Had to be because there was a storm window over this. Um, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to remove the glazing, we're going to take the paint out, uh, put a new paint in, and then put this, hopefully, this uh, same glazing back in place. Now, this was really intimidating for me when I got into it. I saw a couple of videos online. I looked really hard to find this old aluminum pane, single pane window replacement. found a couple of guys from another guy. Uh, I'll link the videos in mine. Um, they're useful. Uh, got me started on the right track, but I wasn't necessarily crazy about his approach. Not to knock him, because in case you see this dude, I, you did good. You helped me get started on what I'm doing. Um, in my case, I'm using a different tool. I've got a paint scraper here. Uh, I have a uh, razor blade in case I need it. I've got my paint glass handy. I've got my glasses, a razor blade. You can also see I have caulking here. And then uh, also important is a tube of silicone. Uh, you can also see my children interested in, in what I'm doing. Say hi, guys. Okay, so now yeah, y'all go play for a minute. So the trick with this is I tried to come at it from the back side on the inside. Um, that doesn't work because those framing pieces don't come off and I was never really sure what parts of this do and don't. Turns out the glazing pops out and there's actually uh, from the front end you can push this back and I'm going to set the video up here on a handler. Uh, hey big guy, can you stay out of that house real quick? Because I don't want you to shake the camera because it's not very stable to begin with. Touch it. Oh, there we go. That's the one we need to watch on. Okay. Hopefully my phone doesn't fall in the process. Okay, let's get to it. Um, this is really a pretty straightforward process at the end of the day. So what we're going to do is try to take this glazing strip off. This is very old plastic that uh, came probably a long, long time ago. I didn't find this at Lowe's or Home Depot, so I'm trying to replace it and put it back. Um, if I if I crack it, hi sweetheart, I'm talking on the phone. Go ahead. Um, if I crack it, I'm going to end up uh, probably just using caulking to seal it because that's really all tier four is to help water kind of run out. So to start with, I'm going to take uh, my scraper. Some people use a screwdriver, but with the blunted end, it's more likely to crack your plastic. So the scraper allows me to push on the inside here. And what I'm going to try to do is just get this bottom corner here outside the frame. And if you might feel like you're going to crack it. Don't worry about it. Push it in. Here we go. So I've got it started. You can see I maybe see I bent it just a little bit there. And now I'm just going to take my scraper and work it up the corner of the frame here. And there you go. It pops right out. So the way this is attached, you can kind of see here, it's got, oh, uh, there you go. There's the inside. So this uh, sit here against the edge. And when you put it in against the glass, you'll go back in like this. And then you'll push that pop, you'll pop that edge kind of back down there behind the frame. Uh, and you can kind of see the lip here, dude, right there. That's designed to go right behind that frame and hold it tight. So there's one piece. Let's do the rest. If I get fancy, uh, I will add some cool music while I do this. But odds are I won't get that fancy because I've literally never done a maker or home repair video of any kind designed for commercial watch. Uh, it's taking a little while here. I'm going to try to take you through the whole process. Sometimes these are stickier than others, and those are these are actually coming up easier than the other ones I did um, because it doesn't appear that they were connected to... See, see those come out? So, uh, in this window, you can also maybe see over here, right there, there's some white right behind the glass right here. Um, I'll pull it up and bring it over in a second. It, it's because there should be silicone back there. And sometimes, the uh, sorry about the shaking, it's windy. I'm in Amarillo, Texas, so uh, super windy. Um, now, I'm going to pop this up here. This last one looks like it's going to be tricky because the frame is kind of inset into the... There we go, now I got it. All right. It's cool, honey. This part will be fast forwarded and uh, music overlay, so. 
All right, so now that you can see the paint is already trying to fall right out, so I'm going to very carefully, and this is really uh, all you safety concerned people will be highlighting in the comments that this guy should really be wearing gloves while he takes out the glass paint. And I'm not going to argue that point. Boom. All right. So this was the hardest piece to get out. So there you go. Um, you know, in the other video I saw, the guy knocked the glass out. His had a much bigger hole, so more risk of like fracture and getting cut. So I just had this tiny little fracture here. So we're good. I'm gonna put this down on the ground very carefully. And we're gonna vacuum. Uh, I do have a shop back down here. Uh, let's see what Sorry for the noise. Okay, so the window's out now. I got a hole right here. This is a single pane glass of window. It's not super fancy. And now all I'm gonna do, this is really straightforward, is I'm gonna put my caulking uh, around the edge, the inner edge here. Uh, obviously, obviously, after we scrape out any of the remnants that we need to get out of here. I just really wanna get the loose stuff. I'm not too worried about any bigger pieces. The silicone will do a good job of sealing a lot of it. There we go. This has a little bit bigger line of uh, material than what I had in the other ones too. All right. Okay. Uh, so now I'm going to do the silicone here, and I just got this small tube. Now for these three panes, I think this is going to be enough. I may run out. I've got another larger tube in there. I just want to open it. Um, this is uh, three or four bucks at Home Depot, um, and I'll talk about costs in just a minute overall for this project as well. Uh, in fact, why don't I just talk about it while I squeeze silicone, because that's not very exciting. Um, so I got a quote from Glass Doctor, not to knock Black Doctor, um, but for these panes, two of these panes, we missed one of them, um, two of these panes and a small pane that I did in my kitchen door that my son knocked out trying to get our attention. They wanted to charge me $230 with, ta with tax, um, all in to replace these panes. And I just got to looking at the YouTubers, found the one guy, like I said, appreciate your effort, man. Um, got an idea of, okay, yeah, I think I could do this, and I'm diving in. So here we are. Um, now, the cost differential, uh, I'll continue talking about that while I take the tape off my glass. So the cost difference is, this pane of glass, which I had cut for me at the store, two size, um, it cost me $6.28 per pane. So I have three panes here. I did buy a couple that were full size and tried to cut them myself. That's how I know, uh, taking the other pane out is how I know the exact size that I needed. Um, you can really measure the inside of your frame and get a fair idea of what you need. Um, but again, they cut it for free at Lowe's. It did take a little bit of time to do that. Um, but I, I broke two on my own trying to cut them, just didn't cut them to the right size using that little handheld scraper. It's not bad, you can do that too. Um, I just figured for the time's sake, I, I wasted two pieces plus these three. So to replace um, four panes of glass, I bought six panes, uh, cut one myself successfully, two broke, three others cut at the store. My overall cost on this in terms of glass is um, under $40 for all the panes. So 230 to 40 just for materials. Um, my time, this is, I'm at almost 10 minutes on this video, which is longer than I thought it was actually going to go, partly because I'm making a video. And, yeah, so my time now, I mean, this is easy. This is not hard work. I already had all the other tools. I think that's uh, probably something to keep in mind. I, I do a lot of home repair, so I'm very comfortable getting into a lot of this stuff. If you're not, just do it. Just get started. Because the worst that really is going to happen is you're going to have to call the guys to come clean up your mess anyway. So on the off chance that you may like to do the work and you might actually do it well and enjoy it, I say give it a shot. That's kind of what I started with. Uh, this tape is taking a lot longer to get off than I thought it would. Sorry for the kind of rambling nature of this. Again, I'm acknowledging never done this before. I just couldn't find this video very well. I found the one and I found a little bit different approach that doesn't have as much shattered glass and doesn't necessarily crack my glazing. So um, I wanted to put up this other other bits of advice here. 
I'm trying to be real careful getting this off. That was a nice thing that this guy did on this on these cuts is with the cut glass, uh, the guy actually taped up the edges for me, um, which you know, took a little bit longer, but again, made it easier to carry. I wasn't as concerned about cutting myself walking out the door. Um, so that part was nice. Okay. And last piece of tape here. There we go. Okay, so I've got my pane of glass here. Uh, it's actually not a perfect square. It's a 13 and a half by 14, so I have to make sure I get it in right. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm just I'm literally just gonna put this in. Oh man. Let's turn it and see real quick. There we go. Yeah, there we go. See that was what it looked it looked like it was gonna be too short, but it turns out I just had it in the wrong way. This is a hard one to get in, guys, just because of the nature of it. Uh, okay, and holy moly. Okay, so what we've just discovered, uh, which is so exciting, is that my pane of glass here is apparently larger than the other panes of glass that I just put in on the bottom. So I just made a 10 minute video. And I can't finish. I can't show you what the deal is. Give me a minute. I'm going to try to find the right piece of glass, and I'll be back. Okay, uh, I'm back. Notice the lighting has changed substantially. I am now going back to the store. So what you didn't see um, is I had to take that piece of glass out, um, clean up all the silicone, measure this window. Um, so key tip with aluminum windows I would say measure your edge pieces if that's what you're replacing and make sure they're the same size it turns out this is a custom window so this top pane was actually 14 and a quarter by 14 which is roughly three-fourths of an inch too short compared to the last one so we're gonna get back into it now um, and you can see I've got my gloves on because this was a difficult pane to get in and out uh, and I did get a small cut there um, so here we go put more silicone on. The good news is uh, the cut at Lowe's went way faster this time. Uh, I think they had changed the blade. And so when you're cutting glass, by the way, it, it really does sound like you're ripping a piece of fabric. It's kind of interesting. Um, so that cut went really well. Just took a couple of minutes and now we're still under $40 for my total glass investment because um, I did the math wrong before. These windows are six dollars and eighty cents a pane, so uh, I should take it back with just over forty. Anyways, still compared to two thirty-one, it is not bad at all. I would also say, after doing it this way and using one of these little tubes, just buy a larger tube and uh, get a gun, caulking gun. You're going to want the caulking gun because you're building a home repair kit if you don't have one already. So it comes somewhere it's, it's useful in a variety of things so just get the bigger tube it's not that much more expensive you're paying for convenience and man this is a hassle to squeeze out there that's my wife I'm not sure if you can see her or not but she's being weird she doesn't remember that I have editing power okay so then with the silicone I'm going to get the piece of glass now it's over here behind you sorry about that and we're gonna set this one in here real carefully. Now this is one I did have to come up at it. Okay, so let's turn this this way. Uh, this one I did need to come in from the bottom like this. It's kind of unusual. Kind of slide it in. There we go. And that's it. I know that seems like what that, that can't be it. That's. I mean that's that's really it. The glass is in. It's going to slide a little bit. We're going to hold it. Um, earlier, I was actually using a piece of the broken glass to create a spacer at the bottom. You can still do that. A um, variety of ways you can do that. But the silicone sets pretty quickly. There we go. Uh, so the silicone sets pretty quickly. It's, it, it adheres really quickly to what we're going to do. Um, so I'm going to give that just a minute because I want that to set up a little bit while I get ready for the next piece. I'm going to take my gloves off now. Um, now, what I'm going to do next, I, I don't know if this is official, this is what I'm doing because I feel like it makes a lot of sense. 
these pieces, uh, right, the glazing, that's what this is called, um, they're going to pop back in kind of right under the, again, I'm going to take them, I'll show you how we do that. But I'm actually going to run a line of silicone, uh, not silicone, caulking, kind of on the inside of this, because I know the silicone's gripping, I, can, I know that it's, it's holding my glass up right now, but I want another good weather seal on the back side of this just to help keep the weather out of the house. So I, uh, and I'm not going to do a lot on it, I'm just going to run a quick line top to bottom. I'm not that concerned about, I'm not going to smooth it, I'm not going to clean it really. Uh, I'm just going to run it. Again, you're going to need that caulking gun anyway. And you know, while I'm talking about it, at the end of the day, folks, when you buy a tool, you are investing in the care and maintenance of your home. So, I have learned, to don't go cheap. Uh, you can see i got a nice big line of caulk there. Uh, don't go cheap just because you want to save a couple of bucks. Uh, there are things that you can buy. Tools make your life easier. So if you are building a new, your own kit for your home, etc., just go with a good one. Like in this case, my caulking gun, it's got really nice ridges here so that it locks in and out. It pulls real tight. It's not just tension based. Okay. So, got my caulking in. As like I said, I'm not going to smooth that out because it's really going to be helping seal the glazing. I'm going to make sure I got the right side of my glazing here because again these are just a hair off in terms of their overall length. Okay, get my shorter ones out and I'm just going to go back around and put the glazing back in. Da -da -da. Sorry, I'm testing the height here. You can see I've got a shorter piece. So I'm just going to take my, my, my end piece here. I'm going to start with this back side again. You can see there. Uh, this lip right here goes kind of on the back side of the glass. So all I'm going to do is take that and push it in. I want to get the line back in behind the piece. And this, this can take a little bit of effort depending on how thick your glass is, how tough your glazing is. And I actually earlier, another good reason to have this on hand is to carefully get that going for you by leveraging it, pushing it back down. Hear that pop, that's the sound of it going back and where it goes. Hopefully I'll learn how to speed this piece up when I do some editing so you don't have to sit here and listen to all this. In this case my glass feels like it's a hair thicker. I don't actually know. It's just your standard glass of Home, home Depot Lowe's. It's kind of like when it's going in, you get a little bit in, it starts to go a little bit faster. There we go. Okay, important to note. I'm actually not pushing right against the facing of this. I'm pushing into that lip. That's a little bit stronger. It's, a, it's reinforced because it is a lip. It's made to carry some tension. So that's what I'm pushing against to get this back up in there and behind the line. And I actually, full disclosure, think I put the wrong piece on the bottom. Because the sides are... Voila, there you have it. So now, brand new pane of glass, no hole. I'm gonna show you, uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of scraping here before I show off my work. I don't necessarily want you to see all the mess, right? And we'll scrape the inside later. Not too worried about it. Okay, I'm gonna take the phone down. And uh, let's take a look and see what we got here. So, as you can see, the glazing's back in. It's uh, not picture perfect, but I've added, it's probably because I've added this extra layer of caulking back there for weather seal. Glazing's in, 
glasses in. There's a silicone seal on the inside. You can see it bleeding through right there. I can clean up the inside. I did this pane. I did this pane. I did this pane. At the end of the day, this window is eventually going to get replaced. It's not. It's not ideal for your long term. Uh, provides very little weather protection or anything else. But this is how you change a pane of glass. It's uh, fun. Really, I like doing this kind of stuff. A um, little bit of work, but I would encourage you to get your hands dirty, be handy, and figure out how to make your home better yourself.